Good Sunday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the Sam channel for this March 26th. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace, Weather Stick, back to blue, back to good weather, back to, uh, and yesterday wasn't bad. I mean, it was, uh, I had it in the caution category, Weather Stick was yellow because of the winds yesterday, but the winds have really died down now. And uh, today won't be uh, near as breezy, but it'll be full of sunshine, maybe just a few clouds, uh, as you can see on the satellite view this morning, mainly just some upper clouds that are passing through. And overall, it's going to be what we would label mostly sunny as high pressure is in control. The low pressure system that brought the rain and the winds has moved away. And now we get the benefit of sunshine and only just a few clouds that might show up uh, for a few of you uh, as you go through the day. And it's going to be uh, nice and warm, as you can see here from the 10-day model blender. Here it comes with some pretty good numbers. Um, 74 today? Yeah. Look, we'll say low to mid-70s. And then uh, we cool off tomorrow. There's a, a low pressure system, a very weak low pressure system. I'll show you in a minute. It's going to come through with just a little bit of rain. And with that, it's going to draw down some cooler temperatures for a couple of days. 62 tomorrow, then 58 on Tuesday. And remember that uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning is when, in my previous post, I've been talking about the one cold night or really chilly night. And that's going to be Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. But then again, we could also say Wednesday night into Thursday morning could be a little chilly. So you see thirties there close to freezing. Yeah, there could be, especially North of us enough cold air to uh, present some frost on anything that you've got out early as far as, you know, for the growing season, but then we recover nicely uh, as we head through the rest of the work week into the upcoming first weekend in April. Yeah, that's uh, this coming weekend. Uh, you see 60s and 70s and overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. So not bad, just a couple of little cool shots of air that uh, will be pushing in for the first couple of nights uh, this week. All right, let's check temperatures. As of 522 this morning, the Kentucky Mesonet Network at Western Kentucky University. And we're looking at, uh, well, 30s and 40s, pretty much everywhere. I mean, Northern Kentucky is the coldest right now, close to freezing. They uh, under a clear sky may find a little bit of patchy frost up that way, but not so much down here. We're in the 40s this morning, low to mid 40s. So as you get your Sunday morning started, should not be too bad. And the winds have really calmed down. So yesterday I was out in the wind and uh, doing the single mother's oil change at Hillview Heights Church. And uh, man, it was like, I hope you guys have secured everything down. We had these uh, little tents and we had the canopies and we had all kinds of loose objects out there, but uh, we all did pretty good just trying to keep the wind from blowing. And when you're, here's, here's another thing I noticed, like when you're trying to pour radiator fluid coolant into a car and the wind's blowing, it's like, <laughs> it's like, look out there. <laughs> There comes a little bit of coolant. Nobody wants to get sprayed with that or some oil or, you know, uh, power steering fluid or brake fluid. We're checking all that and making sure that, you know, cars were filled up like they should be. But the wind just made it really difficult at times to uh, to do that. But we did good. We did had a good time yesterday. It was good weather for it, except for the wind, of course. All right. Here's a look at the maps here to show you the... Uh, the ebb and flow, I like to call it, of what's coming up. We still are looking at that pretty much um, zonal flow from west to east. 
the cold air. There's our departing low that is uh, moving away now and will continue to move away from the Great Lakes and continue on off into Canada. Well, let's put this into motion here and show you high pressure dominating our weather. Now you see some shower activity down here along the coast. That's another uh, area that is uh, as high pressure moves east, we start to get a return flow. As you know, that always happens. Uh, when that's ahead of a low pressure system, then you know these two are probably going to end up working together with something. This, though, uh, fairly strong storms and heavy rain along the coast itself, but all we're going to get out of this, I think, uh, as we get into, uh, I would say, early tomorrow morning, we're going to get skimmed by not only this, but a little piece of energy, just that little dip right there, uh, setting off or squeezing out some light rain. Uh, and that'll be all it is for us with this particular system. See there, it's just, this is all just a little bit of light rain to start the day, uh, tomorrow morning. And then that system's gone. Here's another one forming in the Gulf. And then you got this big dive in the jet stream, this big trough setting up out in the plains and parts of the Rockies with some colder air trying to work its way southward. So uh, this would be in that time period when we just get a little shot of that air. That's what we're seeing on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday night when I showed you on the 10-day blender that we get close to freezing. Tuesday night, Wednesday night, those are going to be the two nights when you'll have to protect plants, bring them in, cover them up with a breathable cloth uh, for only those two nights. And then after that, we should be good to go. So uh, this is another just short-term little blip here that happens, and uh, then it's over with, and then we're back into the main flow of things, which is more warm and more Pacific. And eventually, you know, when we get these little series of lows that ride along that track and high pressure is to the east and moving east, that allows the flow, as you see here, to come out of the Gulf of Mexico. And it all adds up to what is going to be the next big rain event, which is going to be, guess what day? Guess what day? Friday. You guessed right. If you said Friday, you guessed right. It's like the last three, four Fridays have been just kind of nasty. And this one is going to set up to do the same thing. There you see it building on Thursday. And then we get into Friday, bada bing, bada boom. The flow is rich. The flow is open. The Gulf of Mexico is open. And um, there we go with another rain event, maybe some heavy rain and maybe some strong storms again, much like what we had this past Friday and the Friday before. And I think the Friday before that, or was it another one before that, those 75 mile per hour winds. And I know some of you yesterday, when I was out at church doing the oil change thing, you know, I had several people coming up and ribbing me and I was like, Hey, we're not going to get blown away, are we, weatherman? <laughs> I told him, I said, the altar is inside the church. Uh, go in there and pray for forgiveness, okay? So, anyway. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can joke around with the people at the church I go to. They're not like, <gasps> We're not that way. Anyway, here's a look at the maps and um, pretty quiet stuff until we get into early tomorrow morning. Again, the bit of convergence here, but these are weak low pressure systems. So we'll get a little bit of light rain out of that overnight tonight as the low comes right through southern Kentucky into early tomorrow morning. Then it's gone and skies will return partly sunny. We get a break on uh, Tuesday and really Wednesday. Uh, well, Tuesday night, uh, there is that little bit of a straw, but 
that may not even happen. Okay. So we're just move past that and go into uh, Wednesday, nice high pressure. But then here comes the system on Thursday that I showed you that would make for another rainy Friday with showers, maybe some heavy rain. Looks like some thunderstorm activity. This will be a bit of a somewhat stronger system with a little more organization to it. Then we get into next Saturday and that system passes. And yes, there will be wind. You know, it's just, this is the year of the wind, it seems. Just the pattern that's here with us and has been with us is a very windy one. By the way, even despite all that wind yesterday, we hit a high of 68 in Bowling Green. 63 is the average high temperature. So we were five degrees above average for the day. And it was not a bad day, except again for that wind. All right, that'll do it for this edition of uh, Your Weather here on the Sam channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, getting ready to head to church this morning and do some audio work. And, uh, and then tomorrow, do another one of these in the morning. And then radio, of course, at Sam 100.7. And I was just thinking about uh, Ace Hardware. Again, I think sometime this coming week, I'll be able to announce the first maybe two or three, possibly four Ace Hardware Marketplace locations that we're coming to soon, very soon, uh, to do in-store weather radio events, okay? So be watching that. I'll put up the list here and, um, and announce it on the radio, but we're getting close to uh, doing that again. Have a great day. God bless you, and thanks for watching. I'll see you here tomorrow.